Yo, so I found something pretty interesting while I was just browsing online and uh, I kind of want to show you. First of all, just look at this picture. Look at it. What do you think it is? Yeah, I mean, it's fried chicken, right? Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't eat chicken or whatever. Just look at this picture for a while. Sure, right? It's a, it's a pretty nice looking fried chicken. Probably is very crispy, nice and juicy. But, young Neo, what if I told you that this is not fried chicken? Not only is the product name not fried chicken, it's also not fried chicken. It's actually ice cream. Nani? Yeah, I too for some reason gave the same Japanese exclamation when I found out that this is actually ice cream. So there's this super talented chef. Her name is Cynthia Wong. She's apparently the six-time finalist for the James Beard Awards. Doesn't look like a competition for chefs. I mean, beard. But still, she has done some out outstanding pastries. She's apparently a pastry chef, so this is her newest work. She calls it not fried chicken. I mean, look at that thing. That thing looks absolutely like a chicken piece. I guess they are using waffle ice cream, you know, the, uh, the ice cream that you put on top of a waffle. So probably that's a little bit thicker in consistency, I guess. I'm not really sure. But that makes up the, the drumsticks meat. And the bone is made of a cookie or uh, biscuits as we call it. And the, the crushed flakes that you see on top are cornflakes. That looks very remarkably similar to fried batter. I mean, sure, the lighting and the photography does play a little bit of a role in uh, making the realistic look. But the fact that she won an award means that she probably presented it to some guests, right? Some judges. And I have to say, like, this thing is legit a product that I would like to try. Unfortunately, I don't think I can. It's not available here. But you can buy a nine-piece not fried chicken bucket for about 99 US dollars. Pretty expensive. I mean, it's not cheap. But then again, it's not just another piece of uh, chicken or just another ice cream, right? It's a work of art that you're tasting for yourself. You can get it from Gold Belly. I'm not even sure. Let's check out the buy link. It's probably an ice cream store, I guess. Gold Belly. I don't. I, I've never heard of this before in my life. Huh. So they even use salt in the in the ingredients. So I guess that that kind of gives it a weird texture or maybe some some interesting taste to the bone and stuff like that. So yeah, ice cream with salt. I haven't heard of that before. Yeah, looks like they only operate on the U.S. regions. It's sad. But still, it was pretty cool to see the not fried chicken ice cream, right? <laughs> what do you think about this? When you look at it, you feel like it's going to be a hot, crispy, spicy chicken. But when you bite into it, it's cold, sweet ice cream. That's going to be a pretty trippy experience, right? You expect something and something else happens entirely. It would have been funny to prank someone who absolutely loves fried chicken. You know, you show them that this is a surprise that you got for them. And when they, when they bite into it, it's just sticky ice cream. Too bad I can't get it here. But anyway, share this with some of your chicken lovers. Let them see what they think. Okay, I'll see you next time. Cheers.